hello again everyone, I'm back. Giving you more commentary here. We got the Cove coming back, fresh off of his single second win in Metal Storm. <laughs> and we got Sir Phobos. An amazing Sir Collins, or Sir Collins? Collins Gamer. Why do I call it Sir Collins? Sir Collins Gamer's second adventure. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> um, you're gonna see <laughs> a, an extremely well made, uh, I would say puzzle platformer. The controls are incredibly smooth, and it rolls really well. It's very enjoyable. So I cannot wait to get this started. I would also like to mention that we are going to have a Cowlitz Onot. And what an Onot is at RGL TV is a one-night-only tournament. So if you're interested in getting into speedrunning or speedrunning a new game, or checking out this game just to, for whatever reason, you speedrun it, you are free to join up on the ONA and compete against all of our other Howlitz speedrunners. Open to everyone. And we have tons of ONAs here on this channel. So I would say stay tuned to listen for more ONAs you can join in the future. <laughs> so I would like to say, uh, yeah, um, whenever they're, they're about to get ready to, uh, to start this run here, and it's going to be simply amazing. Um, well, while they're starting the run, I'll also go over the, uh, <laughs> the fact that Cove is first in this game with an 11 minute flat time, and Phobos is second with an 11 10. And their summer vests are pretty much the same, it's just, you know... Uh, the execution uh, part of it, Cove is just lightning in a bottle. Uh, there are 48 levels in this game as well. And Death Warps will be a major factor in this game. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> so, the object of the game. I'm so sorry. One second. Okay, so the ob the object of this game is to collect all those coins, and once you collect all those coins, it opens up a vine to the next level, and you go on to the next level. Like I said previously, there are 40 levels in the game. You're going to see a lot of death warps to get to uh, specific parts. Yes, the music is also really good in this game. Um, uh, on this specific stage, and in many stages, like, there's a lot of enemies you can try, like, right there, Sir Phobos tried to skip a cycle on those, uh, worms, but, unfortunately, he ended up dying trying to get it, uh, so that's gonna put Cove firmly in the lead. <clears throat> and, uh, and, yeah, Cove is, uh, Cove is, excuse me, Cove is getting in his groove, Cove is already doing some pretty crazy strats here early on. I gotta say, he's doing some YOLO stuff right now, it's pretty great. And as you can see right there, there's a Death Warp. Made that stage entirely easy. <laughs> um, but Sir Phobos, not too far behind, also going for all the crazy strats now. Specifically since that unfortunate death earlier. <laughs> another unfortunate death, but there's another death abuse there. Oof. Another unfortunate death for Sir Phobos. Two unfortunate deaths on that screen. <clears throat> but uh, the Cove still rolling, uh, still rolling quite uh, well right now. Um, so I know they're taking a lot of death abuses, but the game also rewards you with a lot of extra lives, uh, which is. Honestly, great for a speedrun. <laughs> uh, this room that Cove is in right here has a faster cycle. I don't believe he's going for it. Um, it's 
it's incredibly uh, tight, so I can't say I don't. I, I blame him for for skipping out on it. Um, and a lot of the enemies in this game, very simple patterns, like the little worm things. They will um, they will jump if you get near them, so you have to duck them. And obviously these blade patterns are it's just very basic overall enemies. Like I said, it's more of a puzzle platformer than just a straight platformer. Very good though. Um <coughs> excuse me, jeez. There's also diamonds. Those are more of just for like hundred percent completion. They're they're obviously not necessary. Um I forget how many specific diamonds are in the game, but you know quite a few. <laughs> Yes, you can continue on the same stage. That is 100% correct. The game over, you continue on the same uh, stage. The only thing that happens, I believe, is you lose all your points. But uh, that might be off even as well. Alright. Flying through level now. We got these vines in the background. I know, I've mentioned it previously, but... Uh, but these... But the controls for this game, like, I, I can't, like, I can't say it enough. They're some of the tightest controls and nicest controls I've played on a game on the NES. <laughs> Came out in 2017, so they had a lot of time to practice. But yeah, it's a really good homebrew. There's a lot of good homebrews still going out for the NES, too. If you're interested in trying new NES games, there's a ton of them. Bro. Bro, calm down. <laughs> but, uh, but Cove using another nice death warp there. Cove is, uh, Cove is doing uh, extremely well here so far. I don't think I've seen him take a, uh, an unfortunate death yet. Alright, so, uh, this room is incredibly sketchy, like... The one that Cove's in now, like, the, the patterns, if you go out of sync with the patterns at all, you are, you're kind of stuck. <laughs> Just waiting a long time in that room, so that execution was very nice. Back-to-back -back games, I believe, with no RNG, so the frustration is completely on, uh, on the runner's back on this one. And as a speedrunner, I think you're more okay with that than just having to deal with crap RNG. There are some some games that are just wonderful besides the fact that when you try to speedrun them, they're just too random and it drives you nuts. Alright, Cove is at... Okay, so the, the cutscene here that Cove is at, this is the halfway point in the game. Mind you, the record is 11 minutes flat, and uh, I'm not sure how much quicker the end game here is, but you might want to take a get a coat who is uh, doing some real good work here. Yeah, he is just uh, carried up. Uh, I believe all of the rest of the levels as well are just in this tower. But they do introduce some new enemies. They got some not Koopas in here flying around. Or more, they, more so, they look like the, the beetle enemies. I forget their name from Mario. Another nice death warp there for Cove. Death warps are on point right here. So many good ones, too. Cove still has 10 lives, so that's plenty of death warps to go. Alright, we definitely have uh, Sir Phobos here now. Phobos in the tower, not really that far behind, honestly, even for all those early unfortunate deaths. Still keeping pace quite well. Wow. Uh, these are some new strats, honestly, that I've seen from the last time I watched the speedrun of those games. They've seemed to optimize this game really well at this point. 
And like I said, the record is 11 minutes flat, so whoever breaks that 11 minute mark, that's the finish line right there. But we'll see. Very, very nice room. That room the Kova's in there with all those spinning blades is incredibly hard. You have to be very precise on your cycle base to get through there. Also, you see this turtle that's glowing? It has a coin itself, so Cove had to wait there to actually hit it with a chandelier, since the hero in this game doesn't have a, an, an actual attack. So you had to get the chandelier to kill that turtle to get back one. Yo, Oregano Trail sounds so much better than Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail. <laughs> so yeah, some enemies hide coins. Gotta keep a lookout for if they're like sparkling or not. More uh, excitations. Zombie, unfortunately, just have to wait behind. Also, Sir Phobos had an excellent room with the, uh, the like, seven or eight spinning blades back there. Again, that's probably the hardest overall room in the game. So getting through there so uh, is, is really, really good. And first try for both of them, which is awesome. Alright, uh, that's a nice loop around there by Kobe. Oh, he's waiting for the fuzzy beetle to get out of the way so he can get that last coin without dying. Dying there would have, uh, would not have saved him time, to say the least. Oof. So that was the first unnecessary death I think I've seen Cope take there. Unfortunately got caught up with the worm and the other enemy at the same time. <laughs> also a pace to know where the vine's coming from. All these rooms are routed to, uh, to get the coin that is closest to the vine, because uh, you never know where it's actually going to pop out. Oof, another unfortunate death there for Cove. Phobos had an excellent uh, room here. Uh, like, I don't know a specific day for these rooms. The room room. It's, it's Tommy Wiseau's room. Alright, we're doing, uh, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. Uh, Cove is in the lead right now. Cove has, I would say, about a minute of a lead, 30 seconds of a lead about. <laughs> yeah, the height is... Uh, they're climbing a tower currently, so the height is uh, the gauge for how high they are. I don't know why they didn't just say it. Oh my god, Cove! Look at the time the Cove just got. He's only four seconds off world record. <laughs> One of those deaths cost him the record. That's an amazing run. Great job, Cove. Like I was saying earlier, he was going for all of the strats. And for the most part, he nailed them. So congratulations to the Cove. Sir Phobos, not too far behind. You're going to see another finish here really shortly. But four seconds off record? That is spectacular. Nice death warp there for Phobos. And now Phobos is also done. The 1206. Just a little bit, a uh, minute, uh, just a little, <laughs> just a minute later. So a really good race between these two. Cove was absolutely on fire. Sir Phobos also has a great time. Great run, great race. Follow both of our runners here. They did a wonderful job. 
Again, this is the Cowlitz Gamer's second adventure. Uh, it is a homebrew game. Check it out yourself. Learn to speedrun it. Join our one night only tournament that we're hosting in the future that we will definitely announce at some point. But with that, that is it for uh, my commentary. Thank you um, for inviting me to the commentary. Excellent run again. Follow both of our runners, and we are going to move on now to roller games. <laughs>